our program is multifaceted and takes in all aspects of geomatics. So our students will have a fundamental understanding of the different tools being used in the different industries of surveying, GIS, remote sensing, geospatial data collection. Half of our students go into GIS. We see them go into varying industries, whether it is county appraisal district to help build their appraisal map, or they may go into emergency management. The other half of our students are in the land survey. What land surveying does is they gather geospatial data so other professionals can use that for their analysis. Uh, engineer or architect. Uh, land surveying is involved in construction, route surveys, highway, right of way, but also pipelines, oil and gas pipelines. The fortunate thing about land surveying is that throughout this whole outbreak, we have been considered essential. We're starting to see this wide range of industries coming into our students, recruiting them, and most of the time, by the time they graduate, they've already got a job. The program itself at Texas A&M Corpus Christi is super tight knit. All of the students know each other and the professors in the program are phenomenal. They're always willing to answer your questions and their door is always open. Most students either choose GIS or surveying, but I've kind of opted for a route that gives me both options. It was really interesting because it's a pretty even split between classes that are GIS focused. So you work a lot with technologies and computer programming and software, but then you also have your land surveying classes, which focus more on field work, collecting data, working with instruments and things like that. So you kind of get the best of both worlds of working out in the field and collecting data. And then you get to process that data and see exactly what's done with it, which is a really cool aspect about GIS because you get to see a project from start to finish. So we work with a lot of different measurement technologies, uh, but drones is one of the biggest areas we work with. The ability to integrate a sensor, go out and rapidly map an area after a disaster event, um, such as what we did during Hurricane Harvey, and collect three-dimensional measurements that we can very quickly assess damage, roof, structural. Search and rescue operations are the kind of things that we do and how we're utilizing this technology. And we're really pushing the forefront. We're trying to automate those things, ultimately get information quicker and faster, essentially help save lives, help improve more resilient structures, provide a more sustainable coastal environment. It's what we're really about with this technology.